Yo, 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 what's up, people? My name is Tanachi, and I am back in the Water Satisfactory. Alrighty, hope you're keeping well. So, on this episode, what I'm going to be doing is um, I think a power station. So, uh, I'm looking at this location here, which is kind of central with all my three base main bases that one and that one over there, and this one that I built recently. And right here, I've got one of these uh, new oil resource wells, uh, which is pretty handy. And just over there, somewhere where I've pinged, we've got a, a sulfur node, and um, I've got loads of spare, what's it called, um, petroleum coke from a factory, which is quite far actually. That's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass to get here and um, what else is it what's the other thing Some of something else so far oh that's all that's all i need no oil that's it yeah anyway so i'm thinking of building a power station here now i'm looking at this this little plot of land and it kind of does make sense to go around doesn't it to go around as it is a like a, a nice uh, oval circle base to work from but i can't work so i'm not going to do that now, you thought i was going to say i was going to go around didn't you but i'm not going to go around simply because i'm a lazy bastard and i can't work um, it would look good but two reasons why i probably won't well i could do and go really big i guess but what i was thinking is you kind of lose a lot of space available space and i've done some calculations and what i'm thinking of doing is 160 fuel generators uh, 18 refineries and uh, 16 blenders so it's gonna be quite a decent size factory uh, nothing massive but it's definitely not small that's for sure uh, it's gonna be quite big and um i'm gonna go with the, the plain trusted normal uh, square factory i think i'm gonna raise it up a bit quite high i think gonna come like maybe up to there it's gonna be have to go across probably three four five maybe stories higher i'm not sure and i'm not gonna start uh probably above that tree there in the middle it's gonna be tall it's gonna be big and i was thinking to do a huge egg, egg shape so like an egg shape and then have like shelves of um it's hard to explain but like a huge egg shape building right and try and imagine like coming off the two x's uh, off the the two you know vertical uh, columns would be like shelves and on those shelves would sit machines but again i just can't bother what well, i don't think it'd be a good idea is because um you just lose a lot of usable space like that and because we need nearly 200 machines in this factory i'm just gonna go square square and high and i'm not even gonna put windows it's gonna leave it open yeah well, yeah why not anyway so like i said oil right here uh way off in the distance we've got petroleum coke i've got no idea how to get that here yet i'll think about that later when we get close to the end sulfur's right there as well so with the oil i'll be making the um what's it called heavy uh no turbo fuel there we go uh, so we're going to be using this recipe here so i'm going to use the polymer resin recipe to make the fuel and heavy residue uh oil residue the sulfur's just across as i said in the petroleum coke i don't know how to get here yet but i'll think about that that's the recipe i'm going to be using for this uh turbo fuel it's a new recipe i haven't done it before that's why i'm kind of interested in it and i'm, I'm enjoying using these new blenders as well so i'll give that a go and uh, we'll see how that turns out like i said as i'm thinking right now it's 160 uh, fuel generator so it's gonna be quite big it's gonna uh provide uh, 24,000 megawatts as well but this is what i'm doing right now actually so that's what i'm sitting at right now using about 28 it, it fluctuates up and down a lot and i'm produ yeah producing about 38 and using about 28 roughly give or take uh this thing gonna take me to around 60,000 megawatts more than enough than i will ever need probably but yeah why not that's fine and if you i don't understand i don't know if anyone knows what does this max consumption mean 43,000. i've got about 16 17 factories now and every single one is running except that one but that wouldn't explain the huge difference between my current consumption and the max consumption there's no way that the few fat, uh, machines that are not running now would uh would make up what roughly 14,000 megawatt difference at most two three thousand so what does that max consumption mean the only thing i can think of is it means that all your machines when they're fully overclocked but i don't really i don't really want to know that well i guess i do i guess it is handy tonight i guess unless it's not that i can't think of what else it could be anyway whatever it is i'm not sure if anyone knows love to know anyway i want to get on with this start laying down some foundations and uh, kind of see what shape we take all right yes yes let's get on with this all right so i've been laying down some foundations and uh, i did kind of decide to go ahead with the uh, the square square shape i think it, it'll work out all right give me lots of usable space to work with i was actually in kind of two minds i i, I did like the x idea that i thought about uh, that was mentioning um literally so two like diagonal columns uh, like a huge just ima imagine like a huge x basically and as you go up the diagonal arms or the legs whatever you want to call them have like these big shells coming off but just logistically to work out all of the inputs and then these machines are quite big as well and i'd lose a lot of usable space so what i'll do is i'll probably save that x, x shape um idea for another factory but for now i'm just gonna go with this uh so i just started to lay down some of these um what they called these uh, fuel generators as well to get an idea roughly of the layout and i'm thinking i can fit roughly 50 uh 56 or, or yeah 56 on a floor yeah i mean i could go big bigger and have less floors but it looks like i'm gonna need at least four floors i think i'm not sure but yeah and i started quite high as well i didn't want to clip that that tree i'll do something after as well to make it look a bit prettier just to get some idea of the shape and the dimensions and to see how i'm going to fit 180 uh, generators um so what i'm thinking right is um usually i do this the wrong way around usually i'll 
put the refineries in the bottom and then pump up the turbo fuel upwards but that's wrong the best way is to uh, what i think personally is have the refineries right at the top so i just have to pump oil right to the top level and i have all the um what's it called the turbo fuel just trickling down so i won't need any pumps for that i think in terms of efficiency for how many pumps needed i think that'll work out a lot better so yeah that's it yeah definitely I think I'm not sure. No, I you know I'm sure. Well, you know, well, I don't know. Yeah, it's fine. It, it'll be all right. And um, yeah, it's close to that factory as well, which is cool. I don't know. Let me just play around a bit this a bit more before I, I commit to it as well, just in case I do want to go with that X shape uh, factory. But I don't know. I'm just thinking if I went with that, it's gonna have to be huge. I mean, it's literally it's gonna have to go up to way beyond those red trees, much higher than that, and probably it's gonna go up to probably about where, where that round circle is. Maybe nah. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. I mean, I want to do it, but it's just not practical. Yeah, you know what? I want to be sensible and save that for another another build yeah anyway right let me continue Alrighty, some progress has been made got a kind of like a footprint now a layout of the size i need and i'm, I'm committed to this now so i'm definitely going to stick with this and i'll do something at the end to try and make this a little bit more or less uh, less plain but for now i think i'll stick with this so i've got 56 of these uh fuel generators uh we'll have that per, per level so i'm gonna need three levels for the 56 uh fuel generators and then uh i, I need 160 actually i've already 180 so what i'll do is i'll maybe just take a few away get 100 60 or just down clock a few we'll see but roughly three levels of roughly 56 generators and on the top we'll do the refineries and blenders and then what will happen is i'll get the oil from here uh, coming on this leg somewhere then going up and that will be the only thing that we need to be pumped up and because it's already quite high i don't need to be pumped up i don't know like a couple couple floors the sulfur's not far as well which is only there i've still got no idea what i'm gonna do about the petroleum coal but i'll get to that later yeah i'm gonna stick with this anyway i've committed to it now so the good thing about this is that it will be so easy to just put the pipe in going across and then have a cross junction leading off into each of those um yeah the good thing about this is that just logistically it just makes it uh, so much easier and another thing that i'm not going to do on this because i've realized it's going to be very high uh one two yeah it's going to be another two more floors at least so what i usually do is i leave a space in between each floor and i put the piping i hide it one underneath in a, in a concealed floor but i'm not going to do that either so, um yeah i don't know you know what i'm getting lazy you know that's terrible it's really bad if i'm not going to do things properly i shouldn't do it at all um all right anyway i'll keep it in mind for next time <laughs> to be continued oh right some more progress has been made um yeah i'm definitely actually happy i didn't put another floor in between i would have had to put two floors in between to hide all the pipe work like i usually do if you see a lot of my bills like i mentioned i put a floor to hide all the the conveyor and pipe work but if i did that it would have been extra two four six eight yeah it would have been too high i mean i still need another floor above that anyway so um anyway it's coming along i think all right so i've got the the main three floors of uh, fuel generators in place and i've uh, plugged them all in got them connected up into to power as well and so that's what that's looking like we've got 56 on each floor and now it's time to start working on the more interesting stuff for the refineries and the um and the, the blenders this is the part i'm looking forward to to be honest that's kind of monotonous and all the same really it's just uh, very repetitive and it all looks the same and what i'm going to do to get the turbo fuel down is, is somewhere in the middle here i have a pipe coming down the middle all the way to the bottom floor and branching off into that there and there and then again another one coming down here all the way to the bottom floor on oh, this one sorry and then going off there and there and i'll do that for all of these rows and for each level as well well, I, think. I think that'll be fine because like i said that will save a lot of pumps because uh i won't need have to use pumps obviously to bring the turbo fuel down it'll just fall down gravity will bring it down and that will be cool um yeah and what, i'll do something else as well in terms of decoration to spice it up a little bit but for now just let me get going with the top floor and see how this is going to work out actually this is a bit it's a bit tricky now uh trying to work out that's going to be easier to get the oil here put it on this leg somehow and bring it up here and i have to get on the sulfur as well which is just there i don't know if you can see on the screen but just above my cursor there you can see that yellow node and that shouldn't be too hard to get that sulfur down there i'll just bring on conveyor belt and again uh somewhere up this leg here like i said the only problem is going to be um it's going to be the 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 petroleum coke which is up way over here but the thing is i don't want to be using drones uh because then i've got to bring batteries here and then that's a pain or batteries there which is also a pain but i could have the, the petroleum coke that is here uh conveyed to here because it's already going there some of it or most of it actually then have a train bring it here and from here which is there bring it here but then it just gets i don't know part of me just thinking you know what just bring a conveyor belt all the way it'll be messy it'll be a long conveyor belt i mean it's literally it's past that bit there and if we can see it from here actually how high can i go let's have a look yeah i can't even see it from here it's actually beyond all of that it's a long way actually you know what? i'm not sure i'll have to think about that i'm not sure what the best ways to get that here uh, it's only 360 petroleum coke per minute but but it's still going to be tricky but anyway uh, to be continued all right so um what i'll do is i'll start working on the resources now and get them coming up here and then we'll see how we go all right good stuff yes bloody yes i've made some serious progress love it okay so we got the um uh, what's it called the resource well i've connected it up as well 
over here and as you can see it's going up the legs we've got a few pumps to take it right up to the top and i've started working on the top there as well but before i get to that i've also connected up all the fuel generators as well and as i mentioned i've just got a pipe going all the way across uh, where, where they're connecting and branching off into each fuel generator and then the the fuel literally just come all the way down to all three floors and that's nice and easy uh, as uh, well it's easy as you can get it's always a little bit monotonous work but i mean uh, it's about as easy as you're going to get really um, for connecting up uh, 160 um, what are they call fuel generators Alrighty, so heading up to the top and then um, i've got to bring that one down and then on the top floor what i've done is i've made a couple of these like uh, covers canopies and on this side what i'm going to do is the this is going to be the, the, the 12 uh, refineries doing the heavy oil residue using the, the polymer resin uh, recipe straight from crude oil and this is exactly the same but for the fuel and we've got six of those and both of those will be heading over this side where I'll be doing the um, they call the, these uh, blenders again and I think I need 16 of those uh, yeah so that's what the top floor will be like I've just been playing around with some lights but I don't think I'll stick with red uh, I'm not sure well anyway just I'll, I'll change the color and see how it goes but I'm not even sure if I'll keep the lights there but yeah this is the top floor and uh, it's really starting to come together now it's starting to take shape starting to see see the, the end now uh, it's definitely coming yeah what's left to do still is the sulfur and the um and the polymer coke as well the sulfur is going to be a little bit harder because it's a little bit further but still not too hard i'll bring up that leg and then uh, what i might do is i'll chip away some of this what foundation those beam foundations and run it under the ground and um we'll bring it on the edge i'm not sure something like that and then um yeah i don't know i've got to think about it because this, this is where it gets a little bit more trickier and you just want to lay it out right get the positions uh, and everything coming in the right places as well to try and keep it uh, as simple as possible uh, the cleaner you can keep it and the simpler it's the easier it all seems to work out of course obviously for obvious reasons um yeah i think it can work Alrighty, righty we continue okie dokie so i've done the, the blenders as well and uh these are four inputs into one machine and two of them being pipes um tricky tricky i mean i should have put the petroleum coke and the sulfur on the same on the same conveyor belt and just have them split off anyway but i wanted to keep them separately uh, separately so because of that i had to use basically four inputs well four different rows basically two for pipes and two for conveyors but it works it works uh, I, I don't usually do this like i said all, all of my pipe work and conveyor work is usually under the ground hidden and then the pipes coming up and conveyor lifts coming up into the machines uh, but yeah anyway all connected and uh, this is what the the top is looking like uh, i want to take these red lights off a bit too strong so that's basically uh, the output of all the turbo fuel coming around here and heading off down into the uh, the fuel generators and that one's coming from the back there as well coming round and also joining up and going down as well so on this side as I mentioned we've got the uh, refineries and then we've got a sink for the excess and unused polymer resin which maybe later on one day I'll use but not for today I finally got around uh, to bring in the sulfur so you can see uh, we've just got a long conveyor belt coming down coming here around the side I've just put one of these foundations put it underneath there and it will come up all the way at the end there where the um, where the blenders are just pops up there and and I decided what to do with the polymer and uh, what was it called? Um petroleum coke so that's coming down there all the way around uh, it was a long ass it's a long ass conveyor but basically uh, let me go around so you can see it goes around the factory and then eventually once we get there it heads all the way around this side up where the uh the resource oil well is and you can see this uh conveyor belt snaking around it goes along the side of my other big factory there and carries on going on for ages and ages until it gets to where it needs to be and um, i've had that running for about 10 minutes and the, the polymer coke finally got here um, which is cool yeah so i know what it's most of it's done i've just got a few more things to connect up and then i'll just double check everything to work the numbers are all right and the machines are set properly and if it's all good yeah i'll just turn it on yeah i think that's what's left to do good stuff all righty all righty so i've turned the machine on uh well i shouldn't call it machine the factory turn the factory on and you can see it from a distance that's where it looks like it's uh just a big monstrosity of a building but anyway um yeah you know what i've noticed completely off to topic but look at the size of that you can fit how many of those i mean if you go by dimensions could you fit in one of those i don't know what uh, 50 40 i don't know whatever number it is looking by dimensions you can fit a lot of these little things in there but you can actually fit more items in one of these than you can one of these but this has actually got one more slot now this must be using that magic uh, pocket dimension multi-dimensional thing that you use for your inventory um then that begs the question why don't we use those dimensional things in one of these anyway completely off topic i know i know but you know what sometimes these things they, they get to me i just gotta share it anyway i built one of these um uh these uh tube thingies to take me all them backwards otherwise there's no way there and we can get a little look at it as we get closer as well the only thing left for me to do i think is to put some uh i don't know something some colors or maybe some paneling or some more support beams 
the bottom. All right, here we are at the factory and everything's been running for about half an hour. As you can see, lots of uh, excess polymer coke. So one day maybe can use that to make a lot of plastic and rubber using the, the water recipe. I think it is with water. Um, over here, you can see all, all of the uh, blenders chugging away and uh, mixing that juicy turbo fuel, which heads on down. Uh, we've got a pipe, a 600 pipe coming around the back from the eight blenders at the back and then the eight blenders at the front. We've got this pipe coming around. They both join up here in the middle and then just head on down, as you know already, to the three floors of 56 times three power generators. Most of them have turned on. There's a few that still still have to turn on. As I saw a red light over there. There's a couple of red lights over there as well. Most of them have turned on though. I think give it another I don't know, 20 minutes. It should, it should hopefully all turn on by then. And for, in terms of power, that brings us to around 60,000 megawatts. Um, which I'm only using about 30 so plenty I mean I've got I, I think I've got about 15 16 17 factories and I can't remember and uh, they're only using 30,000 and I don't see me ever building that many factories for a long time if ever so that should last me for the rest of this game's lifetime for however long I'm playing it or you never know you never know unless they they, they release some super power hungry item or machines in in tier 9 and 10 you never know like the uh, the particle accelerator at its peak can use quite a lot but actually saying that if you had 10 particle accelerators or 20 at their peak that would use what well, 10 would use two and a half thousand depending i think what which one was it that was making i think it was the nuclear pasta uh, and it uses two and a half thousand running at 100 percent at its peak so if you had 10 of those that's uh, 25,000 uh, megawatts that's a point so yeah maybe you never know you never know what will come in the future Alrighty. um yeah i think project complete i think you love it when you finish the project and uh it's a shame it's night time but anyway it is what it is anyway guys i hope you like the my little power uh, factory build here i think i'm going to call it there as always hope you enjoyed thank you for watching and maybe Maybe I'll catch you again soon.